Hey guys, some stupid sketch show guy here, here ready to review Jurassic World Misfits Episode 4, The VIP Lounge. So without further ado, let's get right into the episode. So the episode starts out with some very cool music, and also some characters who also go to the VIP Lounge, including an Ankylosaur, Ceratosaurus, Carno Herrera, your mom, no, just kidding. She's not in the VIP Lounge. She's a lovely person, and she's not a dinosaur. Probably. Hopefully. Anyway, so after that comes Chris Pratt, who arrives and has a bit of an argument with Herrera and Carno because he doesn't know who they are. Or their name. But he does by the end of their talk. He is also Australian in this version because Camo can't do enough voices. Actually, he's pretty good, but just not a Chris Pratt voice. Anyway, so... After a quick deodorant joke, they then run into Pachycephalosaurus, who has actually been here a lot longer than any of the other characters that we have seen so far. He's been there since the Lost World, which is about 21 years. However, his 21-year VIP lounge streak comes to an abrupt halt when Mosasaurus replaces him with a gnarly surfer dude, Siggy Moloch. After being painfully pulled away from his lovely VIP lounge, Siggy Moloch arrives and replaces Pachycephalosaurus. After a gnarly talk with some radical bodacious moves and all that random crap that some bodacious people say, I don't know. After that, though, they then run into Trichinstego, who they seem to have had made up from their previous encounter. However, Carno has a long monologue about what he's going to do to their dead bodies. Although that's because he missed breakfast. Always eat breakfast, kids. After that talk with Trek and Stego, it then ends with Blue finally arriving and bragging about how... <laughs> Hi there, guys. Chris Pratt knows my name. <laughs> Yet again. Herrera then says that his life just got worse, and the episode ends. So... I think this episode is a pretty good point, you know, it shows what uh, Carno and Herrera wanted, and this is what they get, because they wanted to be in the VIP lounge, and this is the VIP lounge. However, it's also very plotless, there's no problem, it's just talking to people at the VIP lounge, so it definitely falls when it comes to plot. But it does have some good moves and some good introductions. To things. So for that, I give this episode a 7 out of 10. Not my favorite episode, that's for sure. And not the one that I would like to rewatch. Anyway, enjoy yourselves. Next step review, we will be reviewing the final episode of Jurassic World Misfits. The end. Well, howdy do. My name's Chris Pratt. 